This video demonstrates example of halo effect in three situations. Graduating, I, I graduate from UMS, and uh, at the moment I'm not working. Um, I'm still looking for a job, mm -hmm. so uh, that's why I'm uh, applying for this job. Okay, okay, understood. Then why should I choose you to work uh, for me? Yeah, in the company. Uh, because I, when I look at the the advertisement, uh, you're looking for for staff with uh, the the background in counseling and mm -hmm. psychology, yep. and uh, I I have a degree in in psychology, and mm -hmm. also uh, now I'm doing my counseling masters in counseling so um i hope that is enough to to get the job mm. uh, oh, which means you don't have any working experience before uh no um do you have any question what to ask uh, uh actually no i oh. So I think that's all for our interview section. So we will call you back. Okay, once yeah, after we have a meeting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why are the next person so late? Sorry, I'm late. I got caught up in traffic just now. I'm okay, really sorry. It's okay. So, can we start the interview session? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so maybe, yeah, I read through your resume and I found it like rather impressive. So, can you tell me more about yourself? Yeah. Okay, my name is Amira and um, I just, I recently graduated from UMS mm -hmm. in a master's degree in counseling psychology. Uh, in the past, I've had uh, experience working with special needs children, particularly autistic children, mm -hmm. and it's one of, um, I think, my main strengths mm -hmm. in this industry. And the reason why I chose your organization is you're actually specializing in um, counseling for children, right? You yourself, you are yeah. a children counselor. Yeah. So it's very rare for me to find a counselor who specializes in children. Okay. Mostly they're like psychologists and therapists. So it's it's very like uh, intriguing for me, mm. and that's why I chose your organization to work with. Oh, okay, that's good. So uh, why should I choose you, uh, like to working with me? Okay, why you should choose me is like I said, I've had mm. experience of tremendous experience working with children, particularly mm. in special needs. And I think it's one of the things that you should consider when you mm. want to choose a candidate for your organization, right? Mm. Ones with experience with yep. children. And I'm also very enthusiastic and passionate working with children. And I think you can, I think I can contribute a lot to your organization. Just say. Mm, yeah, good. Can see that you have a uh, working experience before in this field, like uh, working with the uh, special needs children, right? And also have a passion in, in this work that we need uh, a worker or employee with a lot of passions to children and also yeah thing. So any question you want to ask? Yeah. Yes. When can I start? Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I will. I will. What's it? <laughs> I will reply you. Just joking. Yeah, <laughs> I will reply you after after maybe a few days. Yeah, okay. but I certainly will consider you. Oh, thank yeah, you very much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank well, you. Yeah, it's very nice to meet you, Mr. Yeah. Tay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So Mira. first, 
um, is the interview, right? Yeah, yeah the interview where can you explain? Okay, um, what happened? The first is on halo effect. The halo effect is a type of cognitive bias in which uh, our overall impression of a person influence how we feel and how we think about that person. And it is also known that physical attractiveness, um, uh, what is beautiful is good. And also we tend to be more attentive to people who are attractive than those who are less attractive. And we, we tend to perceive people who are attractive as more intelligent or more experienced than those who are less attractive. Yeah, and in a hiring context, it refers to the tendency to let an interviewee's good qualities, or at least those that we approve of, smudge our perception of their less attractive ones. An example of the second candidate, we can see that she's not punctual, right? It's one of her imperfections. But once the interviewer um, was, I would say, blown away by her charismatic personality, it kind of like changed. Like he didn't really bother or care about the non-punctual uh, non-punctual side of the candidate he because overlooked he, that he part. overlooked the imperfection yeah. because now he has a new impression that oh yeah. wow the interviewee is very appealing something like that um, so basically once we've decided to like someone our brains go about finding reasons to continue liking them which is why the interviewer kind of insisted that oh uh, you're definitely one of the candidates will will consider she, he actually said that opposed to the first candidate right he yeah he he just uh say okay we will look over it and we will consider yeah and he didn't even stood up and shake her hand yeah. <laughs> um i would say because the first candidate gave a um, fog impression more like she's quite timid when she's answering and she appeared very nervous so I, I guess that the interviewer's impression of her was very uh, influenced I don't know. Yeah. by what he sees yeah the amount of confidence that being displayed uh, compared to the second one where you see she's more lively she's and more, more confident yeah and more funny i guess <laughs> yeah so that's the first situation is helping others basically we want to know if an individual's outerwear like appearance overall would affect the amount of help that he or she receives so can you tell us what happened between so the two candidates in this experiment we got our uh, we got a person to to carry a lot of books where she accidentally drops the book and then, uh, then we see how many people will come to her aid, help her. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we <laughs> unfortunately we only had like yeah. one person. Today we only have we since it's Sam break, so everybody's on holiday. So we uh, there were only one person around when we did the experiment. So, but it. It actually works <laughs> that um, when a person who is uh, physically attractive and with uh, uh, how do you say that oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, have more help a person who is physically more attractive has higher chance of getting help than somebody who is less attractive or looks uh, very ordinary. <laughs> Which explain why the second character didn't bother to help her. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah. Today we're going to do a social experiment where I would show two pictures, two different pictures, pictures of me. One in a 
like what you would say decent manner and one is more like open and we shall ask participants not participants i mean we shall ask random people which uh who would they be friends with between these two and yeah let's let's see what happens uh, for social experiment, so um, in this photo you see, <laughs> actually me, right? right. Okay. Um, who would you be friends with, and I why? Think both. <laughs> both. Yeah. Then, like right. only only one. Like who who attracts the most? Who appeals the most to you? Like who you want to be friends with? Oh, it's a very hard choice. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I think both is okay. Both? Okay, okay, why would you choose both? Because I don't look on the appearance appearances from outside. I would talk to her first. Yeah. I would oh. get to know her. But in first impression, which one gives the most impression to you? I, I don't know, because maybe both of them looks beautiful. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's so, <laughs> that's so <sweet>. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Well, uh, thank you. What's your name? Yeah. Noel. Noel. Yeah. Well, thank you, Noel, for your participation. Yes. No problem. Kalau saya lah, pesanan lagi saya ambil yang pakai tudung lah. Okay. Sebab? Ah, sebab, sebab, sebab penampil bagi pandangan saya penampilan mencerminkan dia punya perwatakan lah, karakter dia, etiket dia. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What about you? Mesti pilih satu kan? Um, kalau langsung tidak boleh pilih, mesti pilih dua-dua, okey juga. <laughs> Saya mesti ada. Saya tidak ada masalah berkawan dengan dua-dua ni. Okey. Sebab? Sebab saya rasa saya sudah ada karakter saya sendiri dan saya tidak memerlukan persekitaran untuk membantu saya lah. Sebab ada dari segi negatif positif lah. Cuma kalau dari segi kami sebagai ex Muslim, hmm. memang kita akan pilih karakter bertudung lah. Hmm. Ha, tapi tidaklah me me menunjukkan. Uh, bila dia dia bertudung tu maksudnya semuanya baik uh, dan bila dia ber, tidak membuka tudung tu semuanya tidak baik okay. uh, itu sajalah okay thank you thank you <laughs> just give an honest opinion yeah I choose this one okay why um it looks more appealing to me the one without the Cover. hijab yeah, mm. more appealing mm. what is, what is what do you think it says about her personality compared to the one with the hijab? He looks more open to me. More open. Mm. To you, who would you want to be friends with? Should I pick one or can I pick? You can pick both, but it's preferably like you choose one. Which one stands out the most to you? I would pick this one. You pick this one. Yes. Why is that? Uh, because she's simple and Beautiful. Simple? What about the one in the hijab? I don't know. My argument say this one. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay, thank you for okay. your participation. Yes. Josephine, who would you choose? I would choose this. Why? Uh, mm, well, not that there's anything wrong with the other one. It's just that the... Just the one without the hijab looks more approachable. Okay, approachable. Yeah. But why? Why is that? Why does she look more approachable than the one with the hijab? Uh, well, um, probably we would have more in common. Ah. In yeah, she looks more uh, modern and more open. Okay, okay, thank yeah. you for Which one would you choose to be your friend between these two pictures? I think for the one on the left, right? Yeah. Okay, why is that? So maybe <coughs> uh maybe I don't more friends with uh those who is similar with me. Maybe not the bias or racist what but most of my friend is more to like Chinese or what, so I'm more used to it to look on a person without the hijab like that. Mm. Uh, yeah. So maybe okay. will be for me will be more comfort to approach 
So then, yeah, then the other one. <laughs> okay, so the third experiment is who would you be friends with? So basically, we showed um, two different appearance. Uh, the same person but with different appearance one with the hijab and one without and also have blonde hair and we ask random people like who would they actually choose to be friends with like who appeal the most to them and we found that um well one person the first person who volunteered noel thank you noel if you're watching this <laughs> i don't know where you got this view from then um, thank you for helping us and uh, he actually chose both he couldn't choose one because he said like they both look very um what did he say attractive <laughs> beautiful and i think he said he also mentioned that he doesn't judge people by their appearance i think he said that and then the second part is where we ask two most like muslims uh, two muslimas and like my hypothesis suggested they would definitely go for the hijab ones because they're more similar to the ones in the hijab, right? This is the hypothesis and it's proven to be true because they did choose. The first one did choose, like I would choose the one with the hijab because she said that she thinks appearance actually mirrors someone's character. Whilst the second uh, woman, she actually chose both, right? Mm -hmm. But she said the most appealing would be the one in the hijab because it's more similar. But either way, she's fine until she gets to know the person and the the third, the, the, oh yeah, the third one our <laughs> our junior <laughs> uh, our junior he chose the one with the blonde hair because she said that she's she looks more, more open yeah more, more approachable open. and more open and yeah that's his uh, preference and then the last uh, guy we approach he chose the blonde one but actually he did which i'm asked like can we can we choose both can we choose both i think they're they actually want to choose both but if they were to choose one only they would definitely go for the blonde one because like the previous um guy said this one looks um approachable but this this guy he actually said this one looks simple which was very mm. i feel very surprised like oh simple I mean, I thought the one with the blonde hair would be more like wow, factor kan, yang macam not simple at all. But then he said, this looks more simple. So, um, I didn't manage to ask. I didn't manage to ask like f um, f in depth, like why why you say this is simple. When I asked him, he just said, mm, he, she just looks simple. Like I would want to be friends with her. So, and she's pretty. <laughs> um, okay, and then we go to our friends. Tay and George. So Josephine and Tay both chose the one with the blonde hair and they say that she looks more approachable and she thinks that they will have more in common and Tay actually has like an ethnic reason so like he he's friends with mostly Chinese and well, I don't know but what if a Chinese is in a hijab would you still want to be friends? <laughs> I, I, we didn't manage to ask him that, right? So I don't know if it's because of the face or because of the garment itself mm -hmm. But he would choose the one without the hijab uh, The same reason, looks more approachable hmm. So I wonder why the one with the hijab looks not approachable Even though she had like makeup on, I think I don't know <laughs> yeah. So what do, you, what do you think? I mean like, what, what do you think your opinion just now? Uh, social psychology says that uh, people are more more attracted to others who are similar to them who are more similar in looks and in in interest so if you're looking at this experiment it's more on looks so if they are so used to people uh, to uh, interacting with people without the hijab then they 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 will most likely pick the one without the hijab but if they uh, uh, often interact with those without the hijab then they will they will most likely have uh, believe that they have more in common with those with hijab wearing the hijab but uh, there are um, exceptions where people pick both 
that would be probably because they they interact with both uh, they have friends who are wearing hijab and they have friends who are not wearing hijab so to them there is no difference there yeah or they're just not very prone to bias or maybe one maybe one has um had a negative encounter mm -hmm. with either the parents punya wife kan maybe yeah. the person had a negative um a negative experience with the one in the hijab so it contributed to some kind of bias could be but we didn't really manage to get that mm. out from the participants because mm. the our experiment is only based on first impression mm. and not on whether they already have um, they got to know that yeah. person already so uh, for for it also uh, um, it also uh, highlights something that a person who is attractive physically uh, appearance uh, appear attractive no matter whether they're in hijab or not they still attracts people <laughs> really yeah how, how did you like uh, because that? when you approach somebody who is uh, the opposite uh, opposite sex to them it's not whether they have hijab on or not it's whether they are attractive or not your psycho social psychology also says that uh, men the have higher tendency to be at, to look for attractiveness true yeah they they are attracted to physical appearance rather than the the personality <laughs> man <laughs> <laughs> mm. okay so people nowadays do judge from people's appearance first they tend to look at what they wear and how they dress up and to determine whether their true personality is good or not but sometimes people's appearance or image do not define their true self yeah it's true so what do you hope from this like from the social experiment that we did today what what have you gathered uh, well not everybody think alike mm -hmm. and everybody have their own preference yeah it's some some may look at attractiveness but others look more on personality they they have different preference Mm. which is good for the general public because not everybody is attractive true true <laughs> yeah but i just wonder like how did um i mean not just like the hijab or non-hijab mm. but how do people actually perceive someone why, why do people actually perceive someone like attractive i mean i mean what's the standard measure of attractiveness actually do we uh, actually have a standard measure of mm. are you attractive or not? So I just wonder why, how do people actually get this, this standard, whether a person is attractive or not? And if the person is attractive, she's more nicer. Yeah. Um, it could be from social media mm. and how the how the media portrays people who are attractive as more acceptable more like kind oh that reminds me of like disney movies right yeah. like disney princess like yeah. you see cinderella some mm -hmm. of under she's pretty and then she's kind and then the stepsisters are <laughs> ugly and yeah. they're very they're weaker yeah the weaker stepsisters are ugly and awkward yeah so i think it's one of the probably yeah. the perception yeah. that people get where it all started mm. like especially since young uh. yeah but even infants like three months know we, who's attractive like they would choose a more attractive face mm. rather than a non-attractive so for infant punya matter i feel like okay how did they learn that yeah <laughs> um, can, true you have any idea how a three month infant can say someone is attractive or no <laughs> <laughs> no i mm it's very difficult to because we cannot ask that infant so we do not know how they how did they pick 
who is attractive and who is not. But maybe, just again, maybe they would choose someone who's similar. Maybe someone... Oh, you know what? I came across like uh, one student. She, he would often cling on to me. But because I found out that her mother actually wore glasses. I used to wear glasses. And that's why he cling on to me. Because a uh, similarity, right? Yeah. Well, maybe that's why. That's one of the reasons as well. Yeah. Okay. Association. So, yeah, we'd like to end our video now. I hope you guys learned something from this social experiment. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank Rock you. Dalan, bye. Bye. <laughs>